What is up, Madden NFL 25 gamers? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to be talking about some gameplay footage uh, and kind of walking you through my thought process when I'm utilizing uh, some of the money plays and tips that I've uh, I've given to you guys over the course of the last couple of weeks. Um, so here, what you're going to see is my Arizona uh, spread offense. What I like to do with it, and, and some of the reads and, and thought progressions as we go through here. Um, but as we see here. Um, the first first read uh, that I, I noticed of my my first snap was that he was running a cover two sink, and so I went to my wide receiver shallow play because typically that does a good job against two men under and cover two sink defenses, um, just because of the way we utilize it with that deep that deep seam route. And so as we see, he's still in that two deep shell. Uh, so I'm gonna work a levels read uh, in combination with a curl flat read. Um, to the left side is my uh, curl flat, and to the right side is my levels. And it works pretty good against uh, two man under in zone in general. As we see, he's gonna give me that in round. Unfortunately, Jordy Nelson would drop it, but uh, that is what it is. Uh, I could have actually hit the out route there, but unfortunately, I just I just kind of locked it on the in route. Um, one of the keys about this offense is everything works off of the constraint theory and that we use a 2x2 two two set as our base because it makes everything look the same and so we can't can't really tell which side is going to be the curl flat, which side is going to be the levels and so it keeps uh, my opponent off balance uh, for the most part. So you see this time, last time we ran the level side to right, now we're going to run the level sides from left to right and use the right as our curl flat. And there you see we can convert our deep in route on that levels with a cover two beating concept over the middle. And so that's what I do. Uh, I'll go back and forth between the level stuff. I use this wide receiver shallow play. Uh, and you're going to see some gameplay over the course of the next couple of days. I, I might take it all from this game. I might not. Um, but what we're going to run now is we're going to run smash concept. Because now, uh, and what I like to do when I run smash is I like to run levels on the backside. I really like the levels concept with the two man uh, vertical stretch. And so we're going to use the smash on the right and the levels on the left. And here we got a two man under, and that corner route breaks to the outside. Unfortunately, they put the pressure on me, and that was that. Uh, that was all that we could do right there. And so we see uh, one of the things that this this base offense is vulnerable to, as we saw in the Peyton Manning Super Bowl, because this is a, a very similar offense to what Peyton Manning runs with the Denver Broncos. Is it somewhat vulnerable to when they get in your face and they play that press man coverage uh, if we don't know that that's coming? But if we can tell that that's coming, uh, they, we definitely have some plays that we can utilize uh, that does a very good job of beating that. So, uh, right here, I feel like it's going to be probably that, that cover two again. He's been doing a lot of cover two stuff. And so eventually I'm going to have to run a, a four verticals concept. I'm actually going to do that uh, if I convert this third down. This is kind of an, a dicey uh, concept. Uh, down to be in uh, just because I don't you know four verticals is, is a big deal because we're, we're, we're flooding deep and it's gonna take a little bit so if you pressure blitzes out of like a cover three or something we could be screwed but uh, here we're gonna go ahead and stay with this and we've got that man under and there you go and that was kind of that uh, I'll go ahead and go for it just to show you some more footage um, but this this is basically just kind of an introduction to some of the things I want to show you uh, as the as the game plays go on um, here we'll take that out route. Um, typically that won't be open. Uh, most people will put like a cover two sink, but like I said, this guy has just been running a lot of cover two, most like the Tampa two defense, uh, and it is vulnerable to like a four vertical stuff. So once we get into the red zone, I really, really rely heavily on that levels concept being very good against man and zone. And so here we see man, and I can easily hit that out route. That's a very simple read for me. Uh, unfortunately, Boykin. Uh, just drop the ball, uh, or not drop the ball, but he was just out of bounds. But, but you see, kind of the thought process is I'm running levels left, I'm running levels to the right, I run a smash, I can run the wide receiver screen, and what I like to do with the wide receiver screen is I can use the constraints theory off of the wide receiver shell and the wide receiver screen because, for example, we'll show you right here. If you're running a lot of two men under, right? Well, what do we know about that? Well, when we motion this receiver to the right, we know that it's very good at beating uh, like a cover two or two man under. Well, in this situation, we see that he's base line, so we're going to motion Cobb back because this is insinuated that it possibly could be zone, and we're going to call the wide receiver screen, put Cobb on that flat route, and then put Lacey on that flat route, and now we have an extra blocker, 
and we'll just take that quick quick little screen and then Lacey's gonna get uh, some positive yardage and that's kind of the thought process is we use that motion around two maybe three plays as well from that motion we can get into our trip stuff if we want to and that's kind of the thought process uh, that we do there uh, so right here I really like to double zig and then put the two guys on little smoke screen routes on the outside uh, into the quarter came sorry about that uh, or we could run a draw, or we could just get into like our goal line pro personnel package uh, if we wanted to. But I, I, I just really, really uh, want to show you guys stuff out of the spread. One of the things also that we can do is, as you see, when they start using that press two man under, bump and run, and they press those slots, that's the main limitation uh, to this offense. And so we have to have a workaround. Otherwise, our base offense would only be good against like cover three or cover four. And so what we like to do is we like to motion that slot. And you'll see here, because he actually did it right there, called a two man under. And you see you get that unbumpable pattern. You, get the st you still get pretty good timing. And it actually works a little bit better when you do it a, a, just, a, just a little bit quicker. But... Uh, for the most part, uh, this is my kind of goal line play because it does a very good job of beating that heavy press to men under. So, uh, all right, guys, so that does it for the video uh, for today. I want to quickly draw your attention to the description as well as the comment section. Remember, if you have any problems, questions, suggestions, uh, or, or uh, just like any notes you need to leave me, uh, you can leave them in the comment section below, uh, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for your time today, guys. I hope that this video uh, taught you a little bit about, about my offense uh, and what we like to do uh, moving the ball up and down the field on our offense. And we'll be back in a little bit, probably tomorrow, and show you some of our defensive tape. Uh, that way that you can probably get a little bit better of an idea of, of how I incorporate everything I do with my offense and defenses in a real game. So thank you for your time today, and be sure to check out that defensive video tomorrow. We'll see you later.